How would we define relapse? Let's be really clear on what it is. Well, the first thing I think of is three circles, right? Is that inner circle. However, as I had this discussion with John, we were talking about it. Uh, I think that circle expands as you uh, progress in your sobriety. So what might have been a relapse for me, uh, what, what might have been a victory for me in year one is now part of my relapse circle, you know? So, um, because you're talking about the three circles tool Let's, yeah, from our recovery tool. resources mm -hmm. and that the middle circle is identifying what relapse right. is. Yeah. Free tool on our website. Download it now. Yeah. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting because we had this discussion. Uh, it was actually quite good of what is lapse, relapse, right? And so we just had a great conversation. Um, so initially, I would say it's that, that behavior in the inner circle that you say you don't want to engage in that that's where your boundaries are yeah yeah and when you say something that used to be a victory you would now think of as a relapse do you mean like the person who says well i you know i only went this far to that provocative site but i didn't go all the way into pornography like i did in the past and so initially like hey that's progress right. but now it's like hey that even that initial step i think of as a relapse because i have defined that for me it's somewhere i don't want to go anymore yeah, is that's that exactly kind of what you're right. hitting at exactly yeah yeah, I, I think it's using the definition of, you know, from the faster scale of returning to places that I promised God, myself or others, I won't go back to. And that that could be, you know, the obvious things like pornography and masturbation, obviously physical affairs. Um, but, but there are many, many other things that someone has identified as part of their destructive pattern. And they've realized even over time that the more I grow in health, the more clear I am that these are just not practices I can engage in in a healthy way. And, and so for us, then that can become a relapse. And I, I think it does underscore too, especially as we move into healing, you know, initially uh, the thought of relapse is so maybe frightening. If we're on the verge of losing our marriage, it's so embarrassing. Like we're, we're, we're attacking our recovery with this intensity that it's like, I don't, I don't ever want to relapse because of all the fear associated with it. But I think there is something over time, not to ever say like re relapse becomes okay, but if we are defining relapse differently, as just anything that's part of that pattern, we might see that I, I need those things as reminders. I need them to be in that middle circle so I don't downplay them. And I'm not so much afraid of, of relapse itself or what will happen. I'm just afraid of reverting to my old yeah. unhealthy pattern. Right. So I, I know that's like a small distinction because I think initially we're just like, avoid this behavior, avoid going to that one place. And really it's like, no, what I want to avoid moving away from health. Yeah. And so I need to maybe add to what a relapse is so that I'm taking steps towards health and recovery long before I do go to some of those old unhealthy places. Yeah, because what comes to mind to when you're uh, asking this question and even what you guys have already said, it's like if someone who has a drug addiction or someone who is, is addicted to alcohol, a relapse isn't just a one-time thing. It ends up, you go on this bender where it's this extended thing and you're now living the same way that you used to before you started your recovery process. And so I think that that's what it is, is we already have these neural pathways in our brain. And so it's like lighting those up again and our brain just goes on a cruise control. Mm -hmm. And we may get to the point where, you know, one relapse really means like three or four weeks of behavior of stuff that we've yeah. been trying to stop doing. So I think that that's what you're talking about is that it can really set you up for getting back into that old lifestyle you've been working really hard to get out of. It's really interesting you, you brought that up because I was talking to John and I said, I view a relapse kind of like I'm in a relay race and I fall down. I immediately brush myself off. I get up and I continue running. Uh, or that would be a lapse, I would say. A relapse would be I fall down. I see a donut shop off to the side of the road. <laughs> I wander off to the donut shop, buy a dozen donuts, go into the alley and eat them. And someone has to come grab me and go, you got to get back in the race. You're still yeah. in the yeah. race, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very specific yeah. example. I don't know Mike, why have donuts you done that maybe before? Okay. <laughs> yesterday. I'm not sure. 